Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, Evelyn and Marjorie. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being so on time. <laughs> okay, we're about to start. We're about to begin. So let's wait a few minutes for the rest of the class. Vamos a esperar unos momentitos para que se nos vengan uniendo más compañeros. Ay, ay, ay. No me... Vamos a ver... No me escuchas para nada, Verónica. Vamos a ver, voy a tratar de ver si es algo de por aquí. What about you, Evelyn, Marjorie? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Verónica. Yes, if... teacher, I hear you. Thank you, Marjorie. Okay, Verónica, if... Oh, Verónica is already gone. <laughs> okay, she's going to go back. And then we have Judith. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Mm, so busy. Busy? Yes, that happens. What about now, Veronica? Can you hear me now? Good evening to everybody who is joining us right now. Let's see. Just few minutes more. So let's wait for the rest of the class. Cuando tengamos, vamos a ver. Diez estudiantes, comenzamos. Ahorita tenemos seis. But tell me, how was your day? <laughs> Fine, teacher. I'm it's glad all, to hear uh, that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all the same. <laughs> yes. Get up and, and cooking and cleaning. Take a dog, take a shower. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> yes, you have like a routine because I think that everybody of all of us have a routine and it's like yes. everybody doing the same. And when somebody else asks you, how was your day? You are like, oh, what did I do? <laughs> because we don't remember because it is like automatic. It's, we're just doing it because it's our routine. Yes, it's true. Yes, but I'm glad to hear that, Marjorie, that everybody is okay at home, that we're doing our old house chores and we're trying to, to keep everything clean, even if we are here, stop at home and doing our stuff, but we're having like a clean environment, which is great. Let's see. Luis, good evening. Luis is joining us. We have more and more students joining us. Great. One more and we're gonna start. Just one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, Veronica, can you hear me now? ¿Me puedes escuchar ahora? Me gustaría saber si, si ya me puedes escuchar. Aunque sea un poquito. Porque también puede ser mi micrófono. A veces me pasa. Ay, sigue sin escuchar nada. Eh, ¿Sabes qué me ha pasado a mí a veces? Eh, es que cuando enciendo mi computador y quiero entrar a Zoom, como que no se abre muy bien. Bueno, se lo voy a escribir por acá para ver si, porque creo que no me escucha. Alexi. Uh 
Apagar tu computador. Y esto también puede ir para los demás. Eh, a veces a mí no me funciona el audio y no puedo escuchar nada. Entonces apago mi computador y luego lo vuelvo a encender. funcione, para que funcione. Y ya luego cuando entro a Zoom, eh, todo me funciona a la perfección. Así que probablemente sea eso. Ok, guys, we are already 20, well, no, 11 participants. So we are about to begin. So let's see. Here we have the class. I hope you guys are ready because we have a lot of stuff to do. Antes de comenzar, chicos, eh, me gustaría preguntarles. Ok, excelente. Thank you, Verónica. I would like to ask you all if you have had some problems with the platform. Would you like to check an exercise, something related to it? I can help you now. So please let me know. And also you can do it through WhatsApp. I'm always trying to check all your messages, so please just text me. Pero ahorita, chicos, ¿alguien tiene preguntas de la plataforma? Algunos ahí como Marjorie ya terminaron, excelente. Recordemos que es súper importante que sigamos trabajando con la plataforma porque es un complemento, ¿verdad? Las clases aquí y la plataforma, aquí estamos dándole como un seguimiento. Así que siempre en la plataforma. Entonces, como veo que no hay problemas, pasamos a la clase. Y además que ya estamos bastantes por acá. Entonces, today it is going to be our class number 12. We're going to be uh, trying to, to learn about distance and measurements o distancias y medidas. Vamos a aprender un poquito de todo. Entonces, antes de comenzar con distance and measurements, vamos a seguir con lo que me estaban preguntando el día de ayer, que es cierto, no lo habíamos visto. Gracias por la pregunta, chicos. La idea es... Tratar de entender mejor cómo vamos a usar more or must. We have those little words that are going to help us to identify if an adjective, it is a comparative adjective or a superlative one. Así que vamos a tratar de estar súper, súper atentos. Ahora, acá tenemos algo que nos dice. Son adjectives do not have a different form for the comparative or the superlative. Algunos no tienen una forma diferente que es lo que estuvimos hablando del ER o el ER, ¿se acuerdan? Que eran muy pequeños y nosotros solo teníamos que agregarle una E y una R y ya era comparativo. Aquí no. And we must use more and must. More If it is in case of comparative, and must is if it is superlative, to form them. In general, there are adjectives that have more than two syllables. Eso es lo que también me estaban diciendo. Adjetivos que tienen más de dos sílabas, las necesitamos eh, mantener así. Y le vamos a agregar solamente more. More y le agregamos el verbo. Or And in full, ing, os, if, each, all, able, and ed. O sea, si la palabra termina en full, ing, os, if, each, all, able, o ed, o ed, entonces aquí sí. Aquí, sin importar si es de una sílaba, de dos sílabas, Siempre le vamos a agregar more. Ahora, chicos, lo que vamos a estar haciendo ahorita es, yo por aquí les tengo aquí, justo como lo estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer, we are going to see here these adjectives that needs to be 
add more and must. Can you see here? All these adjectives need to add more and must. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos complicated. Nosotros necesitamos agregarle more complicated para que sea en comparativo. Por ejemplo, con complicated. We can say, this homework was more complicated than last homework. Esta tarea estaba más complicada que la, la tarea anterior. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo. Entonces, ayer estuvimos hablando de vacations, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora vamos a estar hablando de lo que ustedes quieran. Aquí sí nos vamos a soltar. Just let it, let it flow. So, aquí vamos a estar usando... Eh, para esta ocasión vamos a tratar de hacer dos oraciones comparativas y dos oraciones superlativas. Si lo quieren hacer tipo eh, plática, mucho que mejor, porque la idea es practicing. Así que vamos a tratar de hacer dos oraciones comparativas, dos superlativas. Aquí tenemos todos estos verbos. If you want, you can keep this document. Because it's going to be really important if you want to uh, have more vocabulary, it is okay. You can take it. Así que este link se los voy a mandar por acá. Good evening to everybody who is joining us right now. We're about to start with uh, an activity. We were talking about more or must. Because last night, uh, some of you were asking me about it, and I am really appreciated because uh, we needed to do it. So we have it here, and we, we already know that more or must, we need to use it when the adjective has more than three syllables. But also, if the adjective ends in full, ing, always, if, each, all, able, and ed, we are going to need to add more and most, even if they have less than two syllables. Like, for example, we have it, we have boring. Can you see it? Boring just have two syllables. But what happens here? Boring ends in ing. So because of the ing form, we need to add more at the beginning of the word, to make it comparative. Así que, espero que todos entendamos esta parte. Ahorita les voy a mandar el link para que comencemos. Se los voy a mandar por el chat y por el grupo. Porque sé que también hay algunos que están pendientes del grupo. Así que, mucho que mejor. Vamos a ver. Todos los que puedan ir accediendo, excelente. Me avisan si tienen problemas. Just let me know if you have any problem getting into the document, please. Let's see. Nice, we have here Iguana Anónima, great. <laughs> okay, now that I'm looking that most of you have access to the document, okay guys, we're gonna start this activity in couples because last time we were starting <laughs> with three members in each group and at the end you were around five members, so it was a craziness. Don't worry about it. It was my fault. But we're going to start doing it, but let me see what's going on here. Oh, here is it. Ok, antes de continuar, chicos, me gustaría saber si hay alguna duda con respecto a la actividad. Es exactamente como la de ayer. Eh, en total serían cuatro oraciones. Sé que lo repito mucho, pero la idea es que todos entendamos. Cuatro oraciones, dos 
Eh, con comparativos y dos con superlativos. Pueden usar los que ustedes quieran. No es como vacation, las, la, da, like, da, la, sorry, like, oh, I'm sorry guys. Sometimes when you want to do the switch from Spanish to English, your brain is like, oh, an explosion. But yes, uh, as I, I wanted to tell you, uh, the activity is gonna be almost similar like the one that we did last night. So we're gonna start here. Uh, we are 16 participants. So, solo, solo una, eh, uh, no consulta, sino uh, no tenemos acceso a compartir pantalla cuando estamos en los grupos. Nos dice que solamente el anfitrión, no sé si podría Sí. sí, of course, Marjorie. Thank you for letting me know. Yes, and now I'm trying to give you access to everybody to share your screen. So sí. you might be able to do so. So I really hope this works. And if it is not working, please let me know. I'm going to try to be in all the rooms. So just let me know. <laughs> I'm going to try to help you. It's okay. Okay, according to this, Elizabeth is going to be alone. No, Elizabeth, why you? I'm going to put you in another room. I'm going to put you in room number one. Why not? Okay, okay, guys, now we're going to start with this. In, oh, for this activity, we have around three or four minutes. So try to be fast. So let's begin in three, two, one. There we go. Maria, uh, Maria, are you there? Are you having problems with your connection or something related? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. That happens. Uh, which book I have to get in? Oh, are you having some trouble getting into the room? ¿Tienes problemas entrando a la, a la, a la sí, sala? Sí. Ah, vamos sí. a ver. Voy a tratar de volverte a asignar. Ok. Sí, porque tu compañera como que ya te está esperando. A veces esto okay. tiene como problemitas. Vamos a ver. Te voy a tratar de asignar. Primero te voy a mover a una room tú solita y luego te agrego a la okay. tuya. Perfecto. Okay, okay. Trata de ir a esa. Ok. ¿Te aparece un mensaje o algo así? Ah, oh, sí fue. Entonces, Roberto, you are not assigned to any of the rooms. Let me assign you to the room number eight. Sorry. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, that happens. I'm glad you could make it. Okay. Okay, okay. room number eight. Oh, we're talking about comparatives and superlatives, but with must and more. Estamos usando comparativos y superlativos con eh, more and must. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, Aileen. Do you have a room assigned? Uh, let me put you in room number five. Let me know if you have a connection problem or something related. There you go. Hola, Eileen. ¿Tienes algún problema entrando a la sala? ¿O oh, puedes escucharme? Oh, ya entro. Excelente. Let's join to room number seven. Nos llevaba Dan. ¿Llevaba qué? El Dan. Entonces, ella aseguraba que decía que en el superlativo también teníamos que agregar el Dan. Pero yo le preguntaba no. a la teacher. Ajá. Ajá. Y dijo que ella que no. Hi, girls. Are we practicing? Hi, teacher. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we are practicing. Ah, nice. Let's try to prepare our sentences using more and más, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm glad that you're sharing okay. it because sometimes we have misunderstandings and don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep practicing. I'm gonna go to another room. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, keep going, keep going. Yes. Okay. Um, bueno, entonces... Sería en comparativo, Juan is more intelligent than Carmen. Uh -huh. good, good example. Uh, it, it's the example. Formulamos otro. Uh, sí, ahorita ya hicimos los cuatro, pero si no, otro. Mm. <coughs> That's the energy. So you already done? Yes. Yes, teacher. We finish. Great. Just finish. keep going. Keep going. Keep practicing. If they were just four examples, keep going and you can make even eight examples. So keep practicing. Uh, okay. I'm really proud of you guys. Keep going. <laughs> I have example, teacher. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, Roberto is more careful than me. Wow, well, that's that's a good example. More beautiful. Yes. Also, you can use the word gorgeous. Because we have like the same meaning and also, oh, handsome, también. Handsome. Es que era Curve, cuidadoso. <laughs> oh, careful. También. Careful. Sí, careful. 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 Care, 
tenemos la palabra, como ahí se escribe care, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos care, y luego full. Careful. Careful, exactly. Como cuando estamos en la pizza, comemos mucho y decimos, oh, I'm full. Algo así, careful. Okay, okay guys, keep going. I'm going to go to another room. My sister is more selfish than me. Maybe. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, my comparative uh, uh, last vacation was cheaper than this year. And his house is bigger than mine. Oh, okay. Eso, regresamos. We're back. And let's see, everybody's joining back. Nice. So, none of you, well, all of you, all the rooms that I visit, were doing a great job. Even some of you were already done. We're practicing more. So, I'm really proud of you guys. Now, what we are going to do. We have here, okay. We were practicing more or must. So I want to know guys, what did you do? <laughs> and we're gonna try to use our wheel of names. Hola, ruleta aleatoria. Así que aquí la tenemos. Tengo algunos de sus nombres, chicos. No sé si los tengo todos. Let's see. For example, I'm sure I don't have Judy. Let's see. I'm gonna grab your name, Judy. And okay, I hope everybody is here. And we're gonna start trying to look for our first volunteer. That volunteer is gonna share his or hers uh, sentences. And we have here Sarai. Sarai, are you here? Are you there? Oh. No, I'm afraid she's not here. Mm. Okay, second try. Romulo, is it here, Romulo? I haven't seen him. Oh, you are here, Romulo. Yes, yes I am here. Awesome. Romulo, please share with the class. What did you do? Okay. Um, Santa Ana is more beautiful than San Miguel. Great. Um, between Santa Ana, San Miguel, and La Unión, the most beautiful city is Santa Ana. That was perfect. <laughs> nice. Would you like to share another sentence? Okay. Um, the the moon the um, Guadalupe Lake is more interesting than the Ilopango Lake. Than the Ilopango Lake, more interesting. Nice, Romulo, good job. Good, I have, good job. I have, I have three cousins. 
and Pablito is the most boring. Uh -huh. Entonces, between your three cousins, uh -huh. Pablito is the most. The most boring. Nice, Romulo. Good job. It's okay, that sentence, teacher. Uh, I was wondering what is the meaning of the last word? And I don't know, probably. Boring, boring. Oh, boring. Oh, thank you, Romulo. I couldn't hear the last part, but thank you. Boring, el más aburrido, pobre Pablito. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias, Romulo. And do we have another volunteer here? You can raise your hand if you want to participate. A ver, ¿qué me dicen? Teacher, no aparezco en la ruleta. Oh, no puede ser, Evelyn. Ok, Marjorie, would you like to share? Yes, teacher. Awesome, please go ahead. Ok. Uh, the chocolate cake is most delicious than apple pies. Great, must we can say more delicious, right? Because we were talking about yes. a comparison. Oh, nice, nice, awesome. Do you have another sentence? Okay, my mom is most protected. Oh, it's more protective. No, most. Oh, now I got it. The most protective, isn't it? Yes. La más protectora. Recordemos siempre agregar de. The most protective. The most. And the, the most. Okay. The Thank most. You. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the most protective. Sí, es la más protectora de todas las mamás. Siempre pasa. <laughs> Ahora, pasamos a la siguiente parte, <ríe> porque vamos un poquito rapidito, creo que me, me alargué mucho con la explicación del more or must, sorry guys, pero ahora vamos a ver la parte de los adjetivos or irregular adjectives, ¿por qué? Porque tenemos unos adjetivos que no siguen reglas, son los rebeldes, solo son tres, pero los vamos a estar viendo, así que there are three very common English adjectives that are irregular. They have completely different comparatives and superlatives. These are, and for this, here I have the link. I'm gonna give you some access, let's see. Because we are gonna try to keep practicing with those adjectives. I also, going to try to share it here. Okay. Mm, here in on the group. Okay. So now guys, please let me know if you have access to the document. Let's see, camello anónimo, tortuga anónima. <laughs> Great. And here we have them. We have good, bad, and a lot. Those are the three irregular adjectives that change completely. Why? We are not using ER at the end. We are not using more or must. Uh, at the beginning, ellos están por sí solos. Esta palabra por sí es comparativa y esta palabra por sí es superlativa. Como por ejemplo, better. Oh, that's better. Eso es mejor. En español también lo tenemos así. Por ejemplo, nosotros nos decimos en español más mejor. Entonces en inglés no vamos a decir more better. Porque estamos diciendo exactamente lo mismo dos veces. Entonces tenemos, eso está bien o está bueno, eso está mejor y eso es el mejor. Entonces tenemos 
better y tenemos the best. Aquí en el superlative siempre le vamos a agregar, y esto no se lo agregué acá, el de. El artículo de at the beginning. The worst. The must. Can you see it? Así que aquí cuando estamos haciendo algo comparativo no le agregamos nada. Solo podemos decir, por ejemplo, um, This lemon tastes better than this orange. Can you see? Aquí también siempre estamos utilizando than. Comparativo than, superlativo de. The best, the worst, the must. Entonces, aquí por ejemplo tenemos worse. Eso es, ¿cómo podríamos decirlo? Eso es peor, sí. Worse, peor que, peor que. A lot, more than. Aquí lo tenemos. Mucho. Bueno, mejor. Mucho mejor. Mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Bueno, no, en este caso no, no, la, lo siento. Esa era la, la doble repetición. Eh, a lot, mucho, entonces podríamos decir más que. Aquí, es, entonces su traducción vendría siendo más. Más que y de más. O sea, podríamos decir a lot, mucho, más. Y aquí no sabría cómo decirles, déjenme ver. Más. Porque a veces tenemos confusiones aquí. Oh, eso sería la mayoría. The most. The most sería la mayoría. The beach is the most visited. Can you say it again, Marjorie? The beach is the most visited. The most visited. Yes, sí, la, la, la playa es la más visitada, la más visitada. Bueno, en este caso, the most no sería tan utilizado ahí porque estamos hablando de la mayoría. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, um, ¿cómo podría decir? You guys are the most intelligent people in the whole world. También. Ustedes son los, la mayoría o los, los más inteligentes. Le estoy agregando un poquito más. Ah, pero es que aquí es superlativo agregándole un adjetivo. Ajá. Entonces, en este caso, este es solamente a lot, que se refiere a mucho. Entonces, en este caso, es como, por ejemplo, cuando estamos hablando solamente con a lot. A lot, this is lot complicated. O podemos decir, this is more complicated than. O sea, prácticamente aquí es como para ayudarnos con otro adjetivo. Como ya lo hemos hecho. More than the must. Ay, no los quiero confundir, chicos. Lo siento. Creo que los estoy confundiendo. ¿Será? ¿No? ¿No? ¿Estamos bien? No, teacher. Ok, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm, I really appreciate it. Ok. Entonces, let's keep going. Entonces, para este solo vamos a hacer dos oraciones. Roberto, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Please go it. ahead. For example, I can say my friend is the most one. Hmm. You can you can probably say my friend is the most. Como por ejemplo, nosotros diríamos es lo más, como the top. Oh. Ajá, o sea, por ejemplo, the most wanted. Oh, the most wanted. O sea, que el, el más buscado. Yeah. Oh, en ese caso, me gusta la idea, pero la situación, y por eso es de que yo les dije de que esto podría ser un poquito confuso, es porque tenemos... Oh, bueno. A lot, y si estamos teniendo the must, tú estás agregando otro verbo. The most wanted. El más buscado. Entonces ahí ya no quedaría sola el a lot. Pero sí, es válido. Es perfectamente válido. Así que está correcto. Sí. Ok. Ok. 
Así como también los ejemplos de Marjorie estaban correctos, todo está correcto, solo que lo que pasa es que quería utilizarlo el a lot solo, o more than solo, o the most solo, pero en sí, en sí los tenemos solamente para apoyarnos, porque lo tenemos para ver de que eh, prácticamente more than es como si estuviéramos utilizando un adjetivo también ahí. Pero uh, para no confundirlos, o porque no los quiero confundir, eh, entonces lo podemos dejar así. Así como lo han hecho ustedes, Roberto y Marjorie, está perfecto. Evelyn, ¿do you have a question? Sí, este, yo tengo una duda con respecto a eso. Entonces el adjetivo lo vamos, por ejemplo, Google, lo vamos a, de, lo vamos, como le digo, o sea, lo vamos a tomar a la hora de expresarnos como bueno y se, lo vamos a escribir así como better than. Ajá, better than. Excelente, sí. Es que la situación aquí con el good es como, por ejemplo, en español nosotros tenemos bueno. Entonces luego tenemos, eh, ¿cómo es que sería este? Sería mejor. Bueno, mejor. Y ya luego tenemos el mejor. Entonces, ah, okay. si, si se fijan, tenemos ese cambio también en español, que cambia, solo que nosotros no nos damos cuenta. Entonces, eso mismo pasa aquí. Good, better than, and the best. Así exactamente. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Para ver si no los confundí, si los confundí o algo. A ver, a ver. Es que no... De... Dios no nos no confundió, sino que simplemente creo que se comprende bastante bien el hecho de que, eh, por ejemplo, en, en, en Alot, eh, aún en español solamente decir eh, mucho o más, o sea, sin otro objetivo, suena extraño. Exacto. Entonces, se entiende de que por lo general, para que tenga más sentido, siempre se tiene que utilizar otro adjetivo. Entonces, Correcto. sería más como un, un complemento. Como por ejemplo, lo que dijo Marjorie, the beach es the most, pero the si most. usted le pone the, mis, the most visited place, en, se entiende mucho mejor porque es la más visitada, el lugar más visitado. Exacto. Entonces, ajá. Así que sí. no se preocupe, al menos no se malinterpretó o se comprendió bien toda esa parte. Gracias, gracias Elizabeth. Thank you. Sí, porque de hecho me estaba, me estaba poniendo a pensar, o sea, se queda como incompleta, así como tú lo has dicho. Entonces, ok, lo que vamos a hacer aquí, ya que veo que todo está claro, vamos entonces a hacer dos oraciones con good, una comparativa y una superlativa. Better than, the best. Y dos oraciones con bad. Worse than, the worst. Súper malísimo. Entonces, eso es lo que estaríamos haciendo siempre en nuestros grupos. Y ya saben, cualquier cosita, solamente me avisan. Para esto vamos a tener exactamente tres minutos. Voy a tratar de contarlos esta vez porque yo sé de que ustedes son súper rápidos. Así que chicos, vamos entonces a las salas. Tres, dos, uno y allá los veo. Oh, Jessica Jiménez Guzmán is not joined. Let's see. Teacher. Hello. Hello, Jessica. What's going on? Let me put you in the room number eight. What do you think about it? Here you go. That's okay. Okay. Eh, ¿Le aparece el mensajito? Okay, you could see the message.
como no se lo dije, better ah, than participate. Okay. Sí. No sé si se puede poner The dog is better than my cat. Uh -huh. Sí. El perro es más bueno que mi gato. Sí, bueno. Sí. Sí. Oh no, this this is too noisy. What's going on? Teacher, estamos formulando ahorita las oraciones. Ah, perfecto. Okay, gracias. Thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna be back soon. Okay. Se acabó el tiempo. Sí. Ajá, you are not practicing. What's going on? <risa> ah, no, pensé que se había acabado el tiempo. Sí, no, es que pensamos que se No, ya. Don't sleep is, is the worst for my health. Ah, yes. That's a good one. If I don't sleep, oh, oh no, let me see. It's correct, teacher. I don't it know. Is. I think it, it is. It is indeed. Es correcto. Solo que lo vamos a cambiar oh, un poquito. Okay. Solo que lo vamos a cambiar uh -huh. un poquito para que suene mejor. Porque, por ejemplo, not uh -huh. sleeping está bien. Pero vamos a ver, desvelarse. You can say stay awake. Is the worst for my health. Eh, lo voy a escribir. I'm gonna try to write it mm -hmm. here in the on the chat. Let me see. Desvelarse. Oh, I was writing desvelarse. <laughs> Stay awake. Ah, uh, what's going on in my mind? There you are. Stay awake. Es como desvelarse. Stay away. Eso, stay, stay awake, awake. Okay. sí, stay es, como, awake. es como quedarse despierto, stay awake. Uh -huh. Entonces, stay awake is worse. Is the worst. Is the, the worst. The worst. The worst. Is the worst for my health. For my health. Muy bien, very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, the other, other sentence is Robert is the best student. Robert is the best student. I like it. Uh, but what okay. if we add Robert is the best student in the classroom? In, last, okay. in the class. In the, in the classroom, in the classes. Sí. Okay, or it is the, the water is the better than coffee? Muy bien, very good. Water is better than coffee. Water is better than coffee. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. You have been doing a great job. <laughs> I thank you, teacher. <laughs> oh, you're okay. welcome. Was... <laughs> Do you have another question so far? Something related? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, no. it's okay, teacher. It's okay. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. I'm gonna go now to another room. Let's see what I'm doing. The other, what, what the others are doing. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Okay, girls. I'll see you in few minutes. Birds in the first chain. Ah, oh, no. Okay. And the first change. Um, um, 
better than my sister. But in the second, in the second change, my sister is the best. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Piche, we we finish. We make a lot of sentences. Yeah, I, I have been looking to you practicing. Wow, I'm really impressed. Okay. <laughs> I was really impressed because you were sharing your screen and I was like, oh, you're the first group that I'm looking that you, you're sharing your screen. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. With the screen, yeah, it's, it, it much it's better. easier. Yes, yeah. it's easier. Yes, it's easier. You are using it, Romulo, easier. <laughs> Más fácil. Yes. Sí, excellent. Okay, guys. Now that you are already done, uh, let's see. We're going to go to the main session. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let everybody go to the main session. Here we are, and here we go. Now we're back. Let's see. Wow, you were really fast. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. For the sharing part, Mm, we're gonna use first the wheel of names and then if you want to be a volunteer, please go ahead. Now let's see who's gonna be the chosen one. <gasps> Lily, you're the chosen one. I think that probably the wheel of names loves you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, my dog. <laughs> okay. Um, I try to sleep. <laughs> okay. When when was a shy, my si my sister and me uh, played a competition. So as you know, in the first competition, um, um the pets. But in the second competition, my sister is 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 the best. No, is more the best. Ay, I confused. <laughs> Don't worry, that happens. <laughs> so in the second contest, your sister uh -huh. was the best. Okay, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Lily, that happens. That happens a lot. Okay, thank you. It is the brain thing that I told you before. Like, you are trying to do the switch between English to Spanish, and it's like, oh, your brain just got confused. Yes, it's true. It's yes, more it difficult. Is. <laughs> <laughs> nice, it is more difficult. You are using comparatives. It is more difficult. Okay, guys, who's gonna be our next volunteer? Do we have a volunteer? You can raise your hand and you can just say it. Okay, we don't have volunteers today. It's okay. It's okay. Let's see, Elizabeth, do you want to be a volunteer? Yes. Oh, please go ahead. Okay. And um, swimming is the best exercise. And, and other sentences is the breakfast is, um, is the is the better uh, eating for the day and uh, other is drink soda is worse than drink juice the next is the hot days are is the worst yes hot days are the worst because we used to sweat a lot <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Good job. And yes, also, guys, we need to be like really careful with Dan and the because we don't want to get confused with that, but you guys have been doing a really great job. Thank you, thank you to everybody. And now let's move on to the next topic because we are not done yet. Uh, do you remember that I told you about measurements? So now we're gonna keep learning about this, okay. Ahora, medidas, measurements. Aquí tenemos, here we have some words that are going to help us to ask questions. Para preguntarles a otros. Entonces, aquí tenemos algunos nouns para preguntar. Por ejemplo, tenemos length, que esta, todas estas casi son un poquito difíciles de pronunciar, pero les voy a dar el tip. Por ejemplo, tenemos length que al final es como una G y luego sueltas un poquito de aire. Length, suavecito. No vamos a hacer una S, sino que es suavecito. Porque recuerda que esta TH, nosotros la tenemos que pronunciar con... Así, sacando la lengua. Vamos a sacar mucha saliva aquí. Length, un poquito, poquito. Length, casi es imperceptible, pero hace una diferencia. También tenemos with... Lo mismo, with. También tenemos depth. ¿Ven la diferencia? Depth. Es como un stop sound. And then we need to let the air blow. Necesitamos, primero hacemos un sonido que es como la P. Cerramos la boca, pero luego tenemos que dejar un poquito de aire ahí. Depth. Aquí es depth. Y luego tenemos height. Height. Esta es la más fácil. Height. La pronunciación. Y tenemos su traducción. Length. Largo. Largo. Width. Ancho. Depth. Fondo. ¿Qué tan profundo es algo? Ay, mis manos no se ven. Esto. ¿Qué tan profundo es algo? Alto. Height. ¿Qué tan alto es algo? Entonces. What happens if you want to give an answer? ¿Qué pasa si quieres responder? No vamos a decir estos mismos. Vamos a decir long. Si te han preguntado el largo, te lo van a preguntar con length. But what happens if you want to give an answer? We have the adjectives. Long. Wide. ¿Ven la diferencia? With. Wide. With wide. You can say it too at home. Try to repeat it. Then we have deep, deep, deep. Esto sale en muchas canciones, ¿verdad? Deep. ¿Ven la diferencia? Aquí lo hacemos con una E sound, con una E. Y acá es como una I. Deep. Y por último tenemos height y high. Este es más relajado. High. Height y high. Ok. Ahora, hay una cosita que es muy bueno que la tengamos en cuenta, que es la diferencia entre algunos países que tienen diferentes tipos de mediciones a los nuestros. Por ejemplo, nosotros utilizamos muchas millas, kilómetros. No, nosotros no usamos millas, usamos kilómetros, usamos centímetros y etcétera, ¿verdad? Entonces, y en otros países utilizan las millas, que es, ellos sí utilizan las millas, que viene siendo ¿verdad? menos las miles, sí, que viene siendo menos que un kilómetro. Una milla es menos que un kilómetro. Tú puedes salir a caminar y decir, ok, voy a caminar una milla. Es menos que caminar un kilómetro. Pero diferente es con las hinches. Hinches son pulgadas. Que esas son más grandes que nuestros centímetros. Entonces, estaremos viendo mucho de inches, miles, kilómetros en meters. Porque necesitamos aprender cómo preguntar 
y responder sobre measurements, que serían mediciones. Entonces, para esto tengo por aquí el video que eh, vamos a estar tratando de eh, repetir. Que este, déjenme ver, este es el video del audio. Creo que sí. Vamos a ver este video, que este es el video de cómo vamos a pronunciar esto. Y también que es todo lo relacionado a distance and measurements. Así que, let's listen. Mm, voy a compartir el sonido. And let's begin. Right. They are talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. Oh, no. I was in the end of the video. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay. Aquí Did tenemos... you get it? That's right. They are talking about arms and it's very... Ah, ahí lo quería pausar. Okay. Aquí tenemos algunas eh, ideas de cómo hacer measurements y cómo preguntar, cómo estar eh, respondiendo también. Así que aquí tenemos las dos cosas. Ahora, aquí lo vamos a volver a ver el video para agarrar la mayor parte de pronunciación posible. Porque aquí tenemos más que todo metros, kilómetros. No tenemos millas, creo. No, no hay millas. Entonces, esto lo tengo escrito por acá que también se los voy a compartir. Así que no se preocupen. Acá y se los voy a poner para que hagamos esa representación del diálogo. Vamos a hacerlo en parejas. Uno va a ser Scott y el otro va a ser Beth. Así que vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Let's listen since the beginning. Uh, we are. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Did you get it? Ahí lo tenemos. Uh. Entonces, vamos a pasar, aquí estamos, sí, yo sé que ya se nos está haciendo de noche, así que vamos a hacer esto rapidito, esta va a ser nuestra última actividad del día. Se los voy a pasar por el chat para ver si todos lo podemos tener. No sé si les aparecerá bien. De todas maneras, se los voy a pasar también por WhatsApp. Así que, let's get ready. Here I have WhatsApp. Here you are, here, sorry, here you are, guys. Oh, thank you, who did this? 
Nice picture. <laughs> okay. Now that you have the, the, the dialogue, the role play, we are gonna start again in the same groups, trying to do the same role play. Vamos a tratar de hacer el diálogo. Uno va a ser Scott, el otro va a ser Beth. Ya nos conocimos muy bien with our partner, así que vamos a tratar de solamente hacer esto ya para finalizar y luego vamos a venir acá a compartirlo con la clase. Para esta actividad tenemos aproximadamente unos tres minutos. ¿Piensan que está bien? ¿Tres minutos? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, tres minutos. Yes, Excellent. Thank you, guys. Entonces, let's go to the rooms. Let's see. Had fun. <laughs> Vamos Roberto, vamos Elizabeth. Eso, vamos Roberto. Are you having some connection problems? Or anything related? Roberto. Mm, probably if I move you to room number five, probably that will be okay. Or will, will be better for you. Oh, nice, it worked. Hi, Roberto. Are you having connection problems? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher, I was in the bathroom. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna uh -huh. try to put you in room number seven. Is that okay? Yes. Awesome, see you there. Okay, teacher. Y empiezo yo. Ay. Hi. Hi, okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Michelle. 
Ah, no sé. Okay. Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like this? Oh, it is beautiful. It has a lot of fun in its very mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest on in Montcot is about 3,008 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers for Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you then next year too. Ay, me trabé. No. Bueno, ya practicamos las tres. Estuvo excelente. Excellent job. ¿Practicaron las tres? ¿También you did? Sí. Ah, ok. Ya Voy practicamos. A es que nos íbamos turnando así. Uno iba a ser Scott y otro Beth y así. Ay, excelente, perfecto. Entonces, si quieren volverlo a hacer, excelente. Voy a ir a otra sala, pero ustedes están muy bien, chicas. Sigan así. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. How is Hi, it going, guys? Have you practiced? Yes, uh, we yes, have. We are, we are trying practice. We are practicing. Oh, you're still practicing? Yes. Let's nice. do it. Yes, do it. Do it. You must practice. Teacher. Yes? Teacher. I'm a school. You are bad. Oh, would you like to practice okay. with me? Great. Yes. Why yes. not? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Do it. Okay, let's do I'm, it. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, oh, I'm from I didn't New know that. So what did you like it? Oh, it is beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. <laughs> Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is the Mount Cook. It is about 300, let me see, 3,800 meters high. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. <laughs> Great. W good job. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Now we're going to be back to the main session. So I'm going to give you 60 seconds to go back. Okay. Okay. I'll see you all there. And here we are. Have you practiced, guys? Yes, Miss. Yes. Nice. I I could see some of you guys practicing. You did it really, really great. Awesome. Okay. Now, because of the time, because I've seen the time and I already know that you guys probably are falling asleep right now. <laughs> so oh no, not yet. Probably at midnight. Oh, okay, let's get going. <laughs> okay, guys, now, please, volunteers, probably some of you have been practicing a lot with your partner and want to show to the class what you did. Let's see, volunteers. 
Do we have some? Okay, me teacher. Marjorie, awesome. Please go ahead. Do you have uh, your partner? Do you have your no, partner no. here? Or if you want to, I can be your partner. I can be Scott. Why not? Do we have another volunteer right here? Maybe sure. Oh, nice. So we have a Scott right here. Please okay. go ahead, guys. If you want to, I will share my screen and you can see what you need to say right here. I'm going to present it. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay, whenever you're ready. I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it is beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it is very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Kut. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about uh, 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Wait, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Great, bravo, pause for you guys. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, guys. Some of you, even in the rooms here, you have been doing great. So please keep practicing. And for now, I've seen that time. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you for staying until the end. <laughs> so I'm going to see you until tomorrow. So please keep working on the platform. And I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So bye. Good night, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.